Welcome back. This is um, the second video in a series showing you some tools and how to use VMD to conduct your research. Uh, if you remember, this is where we left off in the last video with a full model of 2BCA loaded into our window here. And in this video, I'm pretty much just going to show you some different tools you have to focus in and um, look at specific portions of this protein uh, ligand um, model here. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to highlight a specific or any specific residue within this. So again, you're going to come over here to um, representations. I talked a little bit about it in the last video. So you're going to create a new rep. And as you see, it again, just copies the one before it. So we have two uh, overlapping of the proteins here. And what you're going to do is uh, delete the all and we're going to look at a specific res ID. And specifically, we're going to look at res ID 183 for this uh, protein, since I happen to know that uh, it's currently interacting with the ligand at this point. And if you notice, uh, at this point, it didn't really do anything. So to color the specific residue, you're going to go over here to draw style. And then you're going to go to coloring method and color ID. and uh, four, you can pick any of them. Um, the one that I think is most helpful is yellow, color ID four. And once you select that and hit enter, there you see we have highlighted a specific portion of the protein, uh, specifically uh, residue 183, which is a glycine amino acid. Um, one other uh, thing to note is that you can do this with any of the uh, res IDs. If I go over, over here to selection, you have a whole from one, I think it's all the way to about 300 or something, uh, 363. You can do this to any specific residue within that protein structure. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to show you how to smooth out the residue and the entire protein structure to make it uh, more pleasing to watch. So I'm going to show you here. I'm going to play this. I want you to notice the difference between the yellow section and the teal section. And you'll notice that the yellow section uh, vibrates much quicker, and I'll show you how to fix that. So here we go. You notice everything is moving pretty smoothly, nothing drastic, but this yellow section is going crazy. This is because we haven't applied a trajectory to it. Now, all a trajectory is is essentially a smoothing tool. If you'll notice down here, this is the important aspect of this window, is the trajectory smoothing window size. Now, the um, ligand, which is this representation, has a value of 5, and the uh, protein structure has a value of 5, but this has a value of 0. It means it hasn't been smoothed at all. So I'll show you uh, this is what it's like at 0. I notice the yellow part vibrating very quickly. I'm going to move it up to 3. This is what it's like at 3. So it's a little bit better, but it, you notice it's still moving quickly. And then actually, if I move it up to 5, it will perfectly line up with the section of it that's already in the protein structure. And if I play this, it's going to basically move directly with the um, overlapping protein structure. Now, uh, what if you want to look at a specific interaction between um, the ligand and the residue? Now, you can continue to do this, and it's actually really simple. So if you notice, the residue, uh, the representation we just made for residue 183, um, it's a new cartoon, which is the exact same thing as the protein structure. Now, if we go to this representation and we simply switch it from new cartoon to licorice, which is the same thing that the ligand is, you'll now see you can actually see the protein structure or the actual chemical structure of that amino acid. And I can even go so far as to um, remove the color ID and simply go to name. And here you can see the specific, this is a oxygen in red, a nitrogen in blue, and the hydrogens in white. Now I also happen to know, just because I've researched this molecule, if I go to the very end of this, now let's go to right here. If I go to right there, we should be able to watch these two 
proteins or these two chemical structures interact with one another. And you can see the oxygens and the hydrogens interacting with one another throughout this molecule. And you can look at specific interactions, and more specifically, a hydrogen bonds between these two molecules if you get specific enough and want to look at that. So those are three simple tools, again, using the, um, the representations to highlight a specific residue are using the representations to smooth out the trajectory and make it easier to watch and using the representations to also change the draw style to look at the individual atom interactions between a ligand or a protein or any part of this. Um, one final thing I'm going to show you is that uh, some functions you can use with your keyboard in VMD is if I hit N equals here and then click over here and hit equals it'll return it to its original uh, orientation. Um, also, right now, it's in a natural rotation mode, so um, if I click and drag, it'll rotate the molecule. But if I simply hit the T button on the keyboard, now it's translation. And if I click it, it will translate the molecule rather than, or the protein structure, rather than rotating it. If you want to go back to rotate, simply click R, and now we're back to rotating it again. And so again, equals reorients it, uh, T translates it, and hitting R rotates it. Uh, that's all for this, and I uh, hope you've learned something, and I hope this makes it easier for you to conduct research with VMD.